Hi guys, it's Tiger. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the 100th episode of Stardew Valley Expanded and Ridgeside. Let's say good morning to our husband. Oh, there was no good morning, no nothing. Okay then. That's great. Can I do that a little bit differently, please? Oh, nope, I forgot. Okay. I do not know why there was no good morning. Do not know why at all. Still no baby. Okay, what are we gonna do today? Oh, morning Felicia. You gathered all the stone I requested. Oh, that's right, I did. I'll get started on the bridge first thing tomorrow. You came all the way over here to tell me you're gonna get started on it tomorrow? Uh, good morning Felicia. It might not be oars, but these may come in handy. Come visit me at the shop whenever you get a chance. Clint. Some passion flower seeds. Okay, awesome. Hi, Felicia. Thanks for your help with the fish. Na with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause an imbalance. I've enclosed a blueprint from a science magazine that you might find interesting. <gasps> the farm computer. Yay. Can I make that, though? Probably not. Now, I just need the dwarf gadget. So as you can see by maybe the looks of some of the things, not all of the things, like my green tea, I have a bunch of different new mods. Some things look completely different, not all of the things, but as you look, all of these little things look completely different. It is a work in progress, so not everything looks different, but obviously the ridge side stuff is probably not going to look different. But yeah, I think it's, oh, the magma caps look, the magma caps look cool. Like I put a whole pile of mods in. Also, I can wear way more rings now, which is amazing. And I don't know if you noticed whenever I first walked outside, the game said that Lulu had brought me a gift. Well, my pets bring me gifts now too. So I'm kind of hoping that I can actually find it because this farm is so big. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find it. We're going to grab the tea leaves. Grab these tea leaves. Okay, I think that's all there is. I don't think there's any up here. Oh, yes, there are. Okay, let's grab those. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, let's check on the animals and then we will figure out all the other stuff. We're gonna, oh yeah, that's right. Everybody's already been pet. I just need note bell that is in my pocket for some reason, but I will take the truffle oil. I don't know why the milk bell is in my pocket. I guess I forgot to put it up. All right, let's grab all the goodies. All the goody goodies. And you, thank you. Here we go, and you. All right. Oh, you too. Holy crap. I thought I got everybody. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. I, I want to open this. Thank you. You go in there, you go in there, you go in there, you go there. And you. Actually, let's take that and that to put in the fridge. And doors are open. All right. Now I'm going to have to try to find these. Oh, hi, Lulu. Oh, Lulu's right there. I don't... I don't know if my gift is anywhere over there, but okay. Oh, I was going to pet the ducky. Oh, I don't need to pet the ducky anyway, my bad. I'm like, I wanted to pet the ducky, but I can't pet the ducky. Look at the duck feathers. How pretty. What is that? <gasps> a four-leaf clover? Where did I get... Why do I have a four-leaf clover? Four-leaf clover, animal product. Look what the rabbits found. How lucky. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the dino mayo. It's so cute. I'm actually going to take these eggs inside for food and stuff. Yeah. So let's do that. We'll take these goodies inside. Um, We will... Hello, thank you. We'll get this stuff. Because why not? Okay, and put you back in there. 
I'm gonna put some stuff in there. Yep, you go in there too. Okay. Let's go inside for a second. How are we doing? Want the eggs in? We want that egg in there too, and I want the milk in there too. Check. Okay. Can I cook anything? I cook one of those, but I have cooked that before. I'm trying to see if I can cook anything that I have not cooked yet. Just to kind of keep up on that a little bit. We can make Tom Cow Soup. Make some espresso, but I'm not going to make that right now. Okay, so that's all of that for right now. All right, flowers go... Oh, you know what? I see more green beans. Like, I literally just got the green beans off the one row and said forget the rest of them. Okay, the rose is not done. All right, we're going to see if anything goes in any of these. I'm just going to do it that way. Let's go up here. Also, need to go to Robin for a minute today if I can. Uh, I'll grab the kale. Why did I do that? I, I, don't, I don't know why I did that. I need to make more of these, by the way. Yeah, we'll just put the kale in there. And that's it with that. I'll run to Robin really quickly. It's Pierre's birthday. I mean, I guess I could just give him sashimi. Because that makes sense. Let's run this way really quickly. And in here. Transplant tree, please. This one. Um, this mod is going to be amazing. It's a little weird, but I can't wait to try it more. What is that button? I don't know what that button is, but I really wanted to move that tree. Anything else? Make house renovations. Add corner room. Yes, thank you. And... Add southern room. Yes, thank you. I'm not taking the wall away from the bedroom, but upgrade house. What do I need? I just, I only need 100,000. You know, yeah, we're going to go on and do that too. We're going to get our basement. Yay. Oh, is she just like not able to talk to anybody today? Come on. Okay. When I met Robin in college, a lot of my friends were pretty awestruck at my willingness to date someone who's already a mom. What can I say? We were just a good match. You know what? I agree. Oh, Maru is actually in her room. Hi, Maru. Oh, what a week. I didn't make as much progress on my projects as I'd hoped. Oh, I'm sorry, Maru. Did your week go well, though? Yeah, it was pretty good. Sebastian down here? He is. We have a cutscene. Oh, hey, give me one sec. Okay. Uh, he's busy. I should leave or stay put. No, nah, he just said give him a second. We're going to stay put. Let him finish. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Okay, cool. How you doing, Sebastian? Ask him what he's working on or compliment the decor in his room. I have to admit... This decor looks amazing, but I'm going to ask him what he was working on. I do freelance work as a programmer. Ooh, nice. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Uh, I don't really feel like going out today. Well, dude, don't. Oh, hi, Felicia. Sebby, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. You know what? Yeah, that... My family. I'm working on something. Oh, well, can you do this anyway? Oh, yeah, I know exactly how you feel, Sebby. I'm sorry. 
<sighs> no one takes my job seriously. No one ever bothers Maru whenever she's working at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? Ah, poor Sebastian. Ask him about his career goals. Ask him why he doesn't want to see his friends. Let's ask him about his career goals. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here, probably to the city or something. You know, if I had gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now. But I just don't want to be a part of that corporate rat race, you know? Yeah, I get you. Well, I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer than dealing with people face to face. Oof, I feel that too, bud. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this model finished by tomorrow. Aw, oh, thanks for talking to me, Sebastian. Maybe one day your friends will understand. And he's already popped in the bed. Uh, if gas wasn't so expensive, I'd ride my motorcycle to the city today. So what do you do when you aren't working? More farming, comic book, shopping, or sports? Uh, literally more farming. Oh yeah? Hmm. Not really my thing, but everyone's different, I guess. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know I don't have anything Sebastian will love. I mean, uh, um, what's his name? Pierre? I will give this to you, though. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Linus. Where do we go after we die? I suppose I'll go into the ground. Good point. Just back into the flow of nature is all. It does, it doesn't have to be so bad if you think about it. I guess I'm not quite ready for that yet, though. I'm so glad you're not ready for that yet, Linus. I'm not ready for you to go, sir. Let's see if there's anything over here. Yeah, we got you. Anything up here? Nope. It's locked. 12 p.m. Okay, I should have known better. All right, let's go see what's over the bridge. See if there's anything worth getting. That doesn't look like anything really worth getting. At least not what I'm seeing. Just some copper nodes. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Look, you guys, there's water here. There's water. All right, let's go. I guess I'll just give Pierre a thing of sashimi, even though I shouldn't even be being nice to him. Well, no, yeah, this save, I can be nice to him. Oopsies, my bad. I would go give Pierre some sashimi because I know I don't have anything that he's going to love. Okay, guys, do you remember your lines? Yes. Oh, I don't know if Clint does. Ready? Action. I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. Imagine being married to Emily when you come across this cutscene. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, I, uh, cut. I'm sorry. It's hard to remember my lines when her face is right in front of me like that. What? Oh, hey. Hi. Check out my new camera. Jojico is having a video advertisement competition. The prize is 10,000 gold. Hey, I want you to be in this shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the, it'll give the scene a little more authenticity. Okay, Shane. Sure thing. Okay, ready? Action. I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. I've just got to try the new 
Joja blew a cola. It's got three times the sorbitol for a thick, sweet blast, and it's cheaper than water. That tells you it's not good for you, dude. But, but, isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me. Have no fear, my dear. The world-class science team at Joja headquarters have determined that Joja Blue does not cause a significant erosion of the stomach lining. So you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you like. The real question is, when will you turn blue? Glug, glug. Ah. Cut. That was perfect. Yeah, he did good that time. Emily's so pretty in that little outfit. Thanks for your help. Oh, no problem, Shane. You're welcome. Clint? Oh, it's like Clint was the next one to turn blue. For real. Oh, hello. Hi, Felicia. Hey. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for running away from you the other day. You know, I don't even remember that. I hadn't apologized to you properly for that. That must have been confusing. I think I do remember that. Why? Oh, I was just really embarrassed. I don't sing around other people. Like, ever. But why not? Uh, I really like listening to you sing, but there was nothing to be shy about. I really liked listening to you sing. Oh? You really liked it? Yeah, I remember that. I... Thank you. Felicia, I want you to listen to the song I'm writing when it's done. Oh, really? I don't have many friends my age, and I don't want to ask my family what they think. They're too supportive and might not give me an honest feedback. But please don't tell anyone about it, okay? I gotcha. Don't worry. Thanks. I, I'm actually kind of excited, Felicia. I'll let you know when it's done. Okay. I better get back to the farm now. I only came to town to buy some seeds from Pierre. See you, Felicia. And I I'm sorry again. Oh. You and Alyssa bump into each other as you both try to go your own way. Oh, um, I'm I'm sorry again, Felicia. Look at her, she's blushing. Oh gosh. Uh, see ya. Goodbye again. Ah. Um, Felicia, I move so you can go ahead. Oh, Yoba, we are out of so out of sync. Ha ha. Okay, that was different. Oh? Oh my goodness. It was going in the trash anyway. It's not my fault that you over-ordered for your little dinner party. Oh. Oh no. Stubborn girl. She only had to ask. You probably would have told her no. Jerk. Ah, oh, idiot, that's right. Are you okay? How can I help? What have you done? Well, Lewis is a pillock, isn't he? Um, are you... Asking her if she's okay may sound rude to Juliet. I'm definitely not saying what have you done now. How can I help? Don't give me that customer service BS. I'm not. He pisses me off sometimes. No, he pisses me off. Sometimes I wish I could just freaking quit. Well, why don't you or say nothing? I'm just going to say nothing. I'm just going to listen. Oh, I can't. All right. You do the crime and you do the time. And it's not like I don't deserve it. Have you ever done something so freaking terrible that you, it just made you wish you could restart the day afresh and do things different? I don't think I've done anything that bad. No, I have. And I did. And no, 
I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I won't make you. And if I'm exiled to this tiny town in the tail end of nowhere and indentured to the Me Mega Corp Master, so what? I got off lightly. He didn't. Aww. What did you do? I'm here for you. And did you kill someone? I would never. I'm here for you. Really? Are you sure about that, Felicia? You might not be if you knew the full story. Well, everybody makes mistakes. I suppose I'd better tell you so you can run for the hills now while you still have the chance. I didn't say I was going anywhere. To put it bluntly, someone died because of me. It was an accident. Two kids, drunk on impulsivity and cheap vodka, he thought it would be funny. But no one's laughing now. He was my brother, my idol, and I would have followed him into the freaking void. I could have stopped him, should have stopped him, but instead, I got dragged into his dumbass pranks and schemes, and everything went horrible wrong. Mm. Now he's got a life sentence, and I'm in exile. Anyhow, that's... Wait. Anyhow, that's it. And now I guess you're going to do the sensible thing and walk away. Stay and comfort Juliet. Really? You wanted to stick with me despite... Well, despite everything? Yeah, you need a friend. Thank you, Felicia. That means a lot. You're very welcome, Juliet. because we're not going to date or anything doesn't mean I can't be your friend. I mean, jeez. Puppy! Arr! Gremlin gives your hand a tentative lick. Her nose is very cold. Well, is Juliet in here? That Gremlin is right there? I don't know. Probably not. But, you know, just double checking. Clint's in here for his Friday thing. Beers at Ginger Island. What kind of beer do you drink? Porter or stout? I'm a lark, a lager, a lager man myself. I tried lager beer and I did not like it. Did not like it. Me or my sister did not like it. Oh, Juliet is in here. So what do you do for fun, Felicia? Ain't like there's many places to go around here. The broody goth, he throws stuff at the cliffs. Maybe I'll try... The broody goth, he throws stuff at the cliffs. Maybe I'll try that. What is Sebastian? What does he throw at the cliffs? Can I give you anything? Green tea. Ow, fantastic. Did that sound sarcastic? I actually do love this. I'm so glad you do. You need to pick me up after the day you've had with Lewis. Oh, that's hilarious, Olivia. I've had similar experiences with Vincent. Moments like this is what moments like this with Victor are a treasure. Abigail used to do that too. Imagine if you'd known this was what parenthood was like. Oh. Hi, Felicia. Hello, Felicia. Beautiful day today, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Hello, dear. Wonderful to see you. Hi, ladies. What are they talking about? Ah! Oh, I need to be scrolled out so I can see what they're talking about. That's not fair. Felicia, I heard about Not McDonald Farm on the radio a few days ago. You're making so much progress. Oh, yes, you are, Felicia. You've helped our little community to grow. So many gutscenes today. I don't even know where all this is coming from. Vineyards are quite profitable in this region. I heard rumors about how much Sophia, ma Sophia makes each quarter. How much is it? You know, that's kind of rude. Uh, 
I want to know what they're talking about. It's over six figures. Oh, my. Alicia, have you considered turning Not McDonald Farm into a vineyard like Blue Mood Vineyard? Uh. I'm already making wine. Wine production isn't the path I want to go down. I'm not at the level where I can make larger. I'm already making wine. Oh my, I wasn't aware you were making wine, Felicia. I'll speak to Mayor Lewis about purchasing several bottles from your shipments. Well, I'm not making that much, but okay. Pierre loves getting shipments of your crops from Mayor Lewis, Felicia. He says they rival the quality of his own produce. That's interesting. I wish Susan sold her crops locally. She, sips her, she ships her produce out of the valley. She once let me purchase one of her fresh melons. It was so delicious. I'm just relieved Pierre's never sell I'm just relieved Pierre never sells Andy's crops in his store. I believe his crops are shipped to low income villages. Hey, that's not nice. That is not nice. It's true, Olivia. My husband and Andy had an argument recently. Pierre would only allow Andy's produce in the store if it was grown specific if it was specifically labeled as grown at Fairhaven Farm. Andy didn't like that. You know what? I wouldn't either. No. That's rude. Well, this conversation certainly turned sour. Yes, yes, it did. Alicia, we're going back to chatting about parenthood. Nice seeing you, Felicia. Uh-huh. Nice seeing you two got you gossipy ladies too. Bye, Felicia. It was nice while it lasted. I wanted to see Louis and Pierre's conversation. Why did I have to be zoomed in so far? Dang it. Yeah, it looks like Pierre's on Ginger Island, so I may run there really quick. Just so you know, I can give him his gift. You give Dusty many pets. Cookies! Yeah, let's go do that. Do I have... Do not have sashimi on me. So, farmhouse? Food. Just grab one for now. And what I'm going to do, we're going to go chest. That. Okay. Um, forage and food. We'll put purple mushroom in there. Daffodils can go in there. You can go in there. Seeds and things, that would be you. And uh, tools and things, no, I don't think anything goes in there. Processing, you go in there though. You can go in the shipping bin. Oh, there was more seeds and things. That would be you. What do you do? Uh, plant in summer, okay. Uh, farmhouse back to food but you 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 and you in there and then chest no not chest arm shipping bin that would be for you okay let's run to ginger island give pierre his birthday gift it's not the perfect gift but it is a gift oh i will speak to you do you ever wonder about how the rain works do the clouds have moods or something? Yikes, I gotta ask Maddie about this again. Okay. Olga and Shanice are fun chickas to talk to. Last time we talked, they d they told me all the spicy details on the older single men in Pelicatown. Okay, I like this one. Ah, do not get too close to my hair with a torch. I don't even have a torch. What the frick is your problem, Elliot? Hi, Willie. If you ever, if you want to get on Elliot's good side, just give him clementine juice. It would make a great gift. Thank you, Willie. I need to look at the little life buoy in the water. That's so cute. Can we go, please? All right, we're going to skip. Look at all the fishies in the water. Oh, Abigail's here, too. This... The beach is okay, but it gets boring pretty quick. I'd rather check out that dark jungle or the volcano. Girl, that is so very dangerous. Hi, Pierre. 
Uh, let the kids play in the sun. I'll just sit in this chair. Okay, well, happy birthday. I had a feeling you would bring me something wonderful. This is fantastic. Oh, look, Caroline's here too. I've read about that volcano in an adventure book. A clan of dwarves used lava as an energy source. Okay. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Felicia. Are you here to relax or to do work? Uh, probably a little bit of both. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Hi, Leo. Sometimes I see an old man with what they're called glasses? Yeah. I don't think he knows I'm here. Okay. Uh, you know what? I have something for you. We'll do the gold star. Would you like this? I love this. I'm going to put it in my nest. Yay. I do want to go see what the bird says just to see if it would be easy to find a uh, golden, golden walnut just to see. Yeah, no, I'm not going in the volcano. I will go check on my farm and then I think we're going to head back. I didn't go to the merchant today. That was not very smart of me. I mean, I don't necessarily need anything. So, yeah, it's fine. Let's just see. We got a couple of goodies. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave those there, but I'm going to get the weeds and stuff away so they don't destroy my crops. All this lovely fiber. And I do want to see how many coconut, uh, wild and golden walnuts I have gotten so far. I'll grab you though. Oh, okay. And I will grab these too. Oh, all right. Got a golden walnut. Well, I have 16 on me. Let me know what else I need to open, to be honest. I oh, got another golden walnut. Yes, thank you. We'll grab this stuff while we're here. Right. Good, 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 good. Hey, birdie. You do seem so dedicated to caring for the living things. It takes a gentle soul to do that. But I sense you've got a tougher side too, hmm? How many times have you been in that volcano? Hmm? Uh, not a ton, but some. Let's go see how many I need. Um, 97 out of 100. So I only need three more. Well, those two encased in fireside gadgets would do it, but I'm not doing that right now. Don't worry, we'll do more of that on the Joja farm. I'll focus more on that. But this save isn't about focusing on that. I will grab the Terra Roots, though. What do you need? 20? Okay. You know, I'm going to grab all this stuff. Yep. Gives me stuff at home that I can make wine and stuff with, so we'll grab them. It's fine. We'll grab it all. Right. I just want to know how many I have all together so far. I don't know if it says anywhere. really don't think it does. Um... No, it says how many I have. Oh, we ha also have a new cooking skill, too. Like, look at these friendships, you guys. This is insane. I did not realize I was that high up with so many people. Like, wow. Let's see, I need to work on all those other people, too. So what I'm going to do, we're going to head back home. Let's go... Yes, back to Stardew Valley. I love seeing all the fish in the water. It's so cool. And wow, with all these cutscenes, I'm literally already over time. Oh, sorry, Willy. All right. Let's run up. I'll grab you. All right, let's go up here. 
Bunny. Is Sophia around? Not here. Let's see if she's inside anywhere. Oh. That's stuck on my mouse right now, but okay. Hey, you. I'm checking my cask. This column here will be aged to iridium quality next month. Awesome. I can't wait to get my cask. My mom and dad made them. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Please don't feel bad. Um. Hey, hey, let's head upstairs. I... I want to tell you a little about my parents. She's so pretty. I still need to marry Sophia in a safe. Um, it, this was the room you found me in last time. It's my parents' room. Come inside. Okay. Funny, the amount on the mouse is one, two, three. I never finished packing and moving their belongings. I guess part of me thought they'd be gone, really gone, if I did. Um, they, that th they, my mom and dad, there was a car crash. Oh. It, it was on the 4th of fall. My parents were on a business trip. They were gone all day and wouldn't answer their phone. It was weird. That evening, there were knocks on the front door. I was greeted by Mayor Lewis and Gus with tears in their eyes. They told me my mom and dad. Oh. Poor girl. Thanks. I, I, I'm okay. You and Scarlet have helped me so much through this. I'm really happy something. I'm so sorry my mouse hit the... My finger hit the mouse. I did not mean to do that. I knew it'd make my parents proud if I took over the vineyard in their steed. It's a lot of work, but it's all I have left of them. What should I say? You're doing a great job at managing the vineyard. I want to do everything I can to help. You know what? You're doing a great job. You really are. And I don't, I don't know if offering to help when she's not asking to help would be a good thing. So I'm going to say she's doing a really great job. But thanks. I had to learn so many new things. It was really hard at first, but I feel as if I've grown as a person. Um, I know this may be coming out of nowhere, but I want to restore my parents' room. Do, do you think you can help me? See? What should I say? Sure, I will help you. Will I get something in return? Psh, sure, I'll help you. You'll really help me? Yes, I will. Yay! Awesome. Yay! Just happy to see her smiling. I'm really excited. You're seriously the best. Aww. Um, I don't want to push this all on you so suddenly. We'll start organizing stuff tomorrow. Okay. Works for me. I'm helping Sophia move boxes tomorrow in her house. She is here. Oh, she's drinking a nice bottle of wine, too. A little glass of wine. Ready to help me tomorrow? Yes, yes, I am. You're the best. Aw. Can we go in her basement? Like, that's where we were. Like, how do you even get in the basement? The bed has a fine layer of dust on it. Oh. Yes, I can go in her room. Look at the little bear. Oh, the little bears are adorable. There's a ripped note underneath the teddy bear. 
Mom, Dad, I miss you both so much. There isn't a single day where I don't think about you two. Money isn't an issue for me. I wish you two were still here. I miss you, Mom and Dad. Oh, so sad. Sailor Sun, Volume 6, I think that was. I get that confused sometimes. Yeah, we cannot... Oh. Okay, we can use her sewing machine too. All right. And the sprinklers. 3,500 is not too bad. Oh, the cellar's there. Okay, that's the wine cellar. Yeah, we cannot go in the wine cellar. Okay. We hmm. out just a smidgen. So we're going to Sophia's tomorrow. Hopefully I remember that whenever I record the next episode. Oh, thank you. We'll take spring onions. Thank you. Oh, I want you as well. Yes, yes I do. Okay, any down here? No. Uh, Andy, are you in? I'd like to come say hi to you. I, th I just messed up. <laughs> I forgot. He told me to come visit, so I knew it was going to be a cutscene. I forgot. Oh my gosh. Hey, farmer. See, you got that there letter of mine. Yes, I did, Andy, and I completely forgot. Just wanted to show you something I think you'd appreciate. Found them while cleaning my house. Okay. What we got, Andy? Look at this little typewriter. I have an old picture of Arroyo Vineyard in its prime. Here, take a look. Ah. Oh, look. This is the one off from the woods. Here, look at all the grapevines they have up. Eh, I recall the day that Jerry figured out how to craft cakes. That was a heck of a party. You know what? I bet it was. Elizabeth was a nice lady, too. Sometimes they invited me for tea and cookies. Aw. Got this, too. What's this? Also, got here a picture of Stardust Farm. Stardust Farm. That's Hat Mouse's house. Oh, so cute. I can tell by the, bro the broken down fences where the house is. And you can see some remnants of where there used to be stuff planted. That's so cute. Aww. Alexa was a sweet girl. Always wore those bright yellow dresses on a sunny day. She grew the prettiest flowers in the valley. The honey and maple syrup from Stardust Farm was sweet, was so sweet, it sent a bear spinning. We commissioned Robin to build those their makeshift wooden bridges. Sure was nice seeing that smile of hers bright as sunshine. Aw, you miss your friends. I've, current, I've come to learn friends come and go. And you never know when you'll meet a new one. Does that mean you're my friend, Andy? Hmm. Hey, let's grab some farmer's lunch. I got a fresh forage to go with it. Yes, please. I will accept. Okay, is he actually here for me to speak to, though? It does not look like it. What could it be? No. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. You up here? No, you're not up there. All right. So we're going to head back up. This has been a really long episode, and I was not expecting any of it, to be honest. 
We will grab this stuff though. You, you, and you. Thank you. And we're in time to check out what she had. Oh, chocolate cake. Hmm. Juice. Battery pack. I will grab the rare seed. Pretty sure I have coffee beans, but I'll grab it. I mean, I know I do, but. Okay, we're going to head on home. I was going to go to the deep woods and try to get some hardwood and stuff, but we are like 46 minutes in already. This is a super, super duper long video. I'm just going to try to see if there's any truffles around. Like maybe that was the only one. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's fine. Let's run in here. Get things sorted here. We will put the two truffles in there. We actually got two. Okay. And then we're going to run in the little chicken coop. Check on those ladies. Get anything that may be done. I don't think I put any mayo in there. No, I did not. Okay, so we're good. All right, what do we got here? Terra roots. I can cook something with that. I just don't know if I have the recipe. But I will see. Right now, I want to sell you, 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 you. We'll sell those cranberries, those blueberries, that, the pineapple, that, that. Yeah, okay. So, seeds and things, you can go in there. What? I didn't check on the greenhouse today. Let me just run through that really quickly. Just really quick. Grab you. Oh, grab these guys too. I think that's all. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So how are we going in here? I know you're ready and you're ready, but I'm not. Oh, yes. Okay. I say, say I'm not grabbing those down there, but I will grab the star fruit. No doubt about it. All right. Let's get that done. Okay. Ooh, ancient fruits ready to harvest. Yay. Coffee beans are ready. Yep, I have coffee. I don't need to plant anymore. That's fine. Okay, nothing. Oh, wait. Okay, the roses will be ready in one day. And I want to plant... Where'd it go? Did I store it? Need something. There's two in there. Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, wrong thing. What did I hit? I don't even know what I just hit. I'm going to put you there and you there. And I don't have my watering can, but that's okay. Trees? Yes. Okay, grab all these goodies. Nice. Yay, lots of goodies. Okay, there we go. I do want to make some more starfruit seeds, so we'll go there. And now there's something I need to make. Not seeds. I think it's the save anyway. Let me double check that. Fairy stone, Aaron. Okay. Oh, it's not the safe. Okay. I thought I had to make something or something, but I guess I'm thinking about a different save, but I swear I thought it was this save. No, I'm just going to put this back over here. It's fine. Um, Greenhouse. 
I was going to leave it in my inventory and just plop it down whenever I wanted to go back and forth, but I keep forgetting anyway, so I'm not even going to worry about it. So Terra Roots, do I have the recipe for that? I don't know, to be honest. Yes. Okay, we'll make you, right? And... Okay, we'll make eight of those for now. Make a couple more salads. Okay. Do I not know? I know pepper poppers. Where is the pepper pop? Oh, I don't have any hot peppers. Ooh, yeah, I got to work on that. I've got to work on that, but we'll get that. Make the two things of roots platter. I think that'll be it for right now. We'll drop away what we can. And then you can go in there. Why has that got a gold star? I wonder. That's different, huh? Oh, yeah, the ancient fruit I wanted to make seeds up to. So greenhouse. I'm going to put you in there. All right, there we go. Now, yep, yeah, I was going to say my husband is probably in bed. But I want to move this. Just put it down here, out of the way. Here we go. Make sure nothing's in the way of any of this other stuff. No, I think we're good now. Yep. All right. So now I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to call it a night. Yes, please. I cannot believe this video was so long. During the night, you gave birth to a baby girl. Yay! And if I'm remembering correctly, Lori suggested Misty. So we're going with Misty. Level cooking one plus three edit edibility in the home cooked foods, meaning they're normally not edible. Oh boy. Oh, level two cooking plus three percent edibility in the home cooked foods. Level three cooking. Nice. Level four cooking. Holy crap. But just one day of cooking a couple things. I got all that. That's nice. And we made 3,360 gold today. Not too bad. Not too bad. I have the house being worked on. I should have a little bridge going across to Grandpa's shed being worked on. I don't know how that's going to work when I have the house being worked on too. Hold on. I wanted to see if I could do that. But I clearly cannot because Smappy is going crazy giving me an error invalid command abigail so while i attend to that and hopefully i can save and exit this game well exit the game anyway i am going to call this one an episode so i want to say thank you all so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next one until then bye guys